Hi, student. You ask me uh, in class to repeat the equation of tangents and to do a video and send that video so that you can repeat it and understand it more. So here uh, I gave you examples, all different kinds of tangents you may get. We all know that the equation of a tangent, first of all, the tangent you all know, let me repeat. You have a point here and you do the tangent to the curve and the, the slope of that line is nothing else than the derivative at the point of tangent C, which is A. And if you want to do the normal to that uh, line, it's the same because I have the same point, but the slope will be inverse and opposite sign. So it will be minus one over y prime of A. So let us take the first example, write the equation of tangent and it's normal. We have 2x squared minus 3x minus 1, the curve at the point x of a equal to 2. We all know that the equation of tangent is y minus y of the point of tangent c, suppose it's a, equal y prime of the point a into x minus x of a. But here x of a is given to be 2. So what I need to find is y of a and y prime of a. To find y of a, it's very simple. We replace x by 2 in the equation. So 8 minus 6 minus 1, so it's 1. I replace it here. And to find y prime of a, I replace it in the derivative. So 8 minus 3 is 5, so I replace it here. So I have the equation of tangent. And that of normal, instead of writing 5, I write it inverse and opposite side, sign because they are perpendicular. The tangent and to its normal so it will be minus one over five let us take another example here they gave us the slope is for a point a that we need to find and here they they told us you know you have a prime of a point a that i need to find the point a is four so we need to find the point a so we do the derivative a prime of x is Minus 2x minus 2 is 4. So if you solve for x, you're going to get x of a is minus 3. To find y of the point we replace here, minus 9 minus plus 6 uh, minus 1. So you're going to get the point minus 3 minus 4. So it's very simple. Hello, that the parabola x cubed minus 12x plus 5 have a tangent whose slope is 15. If yes, find the equation and the point of tangents. Can be the same story as number two, f prime of x, which is 3x squared minus 12 equal to 15. x squared is 9. x is plus or minus 3. I have two points. What does this, this mean graphically? It means suppose you have a curve of that form. I have two points on the curve. If I do the tangent at these two different points, one is point A, one is point B, for example, two different points. The slope of these two tangents is 15. It means the two lines are parallel and the whole slope is 15. So I do for the first one, if x is 3, I replace x by 3 here. It will be minus 4. If it's minus 3, if you replace minus 3 here, it will be 14. And they both have the slope 15. So you have the equation of the tangent for the first one and for the second one. Hope that you are understanding. Number four, I gave you a curve. What is the biggest slope? Biggest slope, you know, derivative, the maximum we can get. If we do the derivative here, I have minus 6x squared plus 12. Let us concentrate here, guys. What does it mean minus 6x squared plus 12? And I'm talking about biggest slope. It means minus 6x squared is always a negative value that I will truncate from 12. So here, a prime of x, the maximum value is a 12, and all values of a prime must be bef before 12, less than 12, because I'm trunking a negative value from 12. So the maximum will be 12. To get the 12, I must take x to be 0. And if x is 0, if you replace it here, what will be y1? So it will be at the point 0, 1, and f prime will be what? 12. In the second one, find the equation of the tangent to the curve where the slope is, is minus 12. Here, it's the same as the, we did before. Slope is minus 12. I solve for derivative equal minus 12. So I have two values. I have two and minus two, like number three we did in a while. So I replace f of two, I get nine. I replace f of minus two, I get minus seven. And the slope is 12. 
Okay, uh, so this top here is minus 12. For the first one and the second one, I have the point 29 here, 29, and here the point minus 2, minus 7, so I have the equation. In part C, find the horizontal tension. You all know, guys, we talked a lot about it in the class. When we have horizontal tension, horizontal tension exists at maximum, sorry, maximum and minimum of the point. Here, the derivative will be what? zero so i take f prime of x f prime of x let us go back it is minus 6x squared plus 12 you equate it to zero because horizontal i have two points plus or minus radical two i replace in the equation one time i replace here by minus radical two one times by plus radical two i get these two y so if i want to write now the equation of the tangent you all know so what do i get y let me write it y let me do it for the first one minus y of a is one minus eight radical two derivative here is horizontal it means zero into x minus radical 2 0 times any expression is 0 so the first one will be you take this to the other side so it will be 1 plus 8 radical 2 and the same for 1 minus 8 radical 2 to finish from uh, the tangent the last equation example uh, uh, write the equation of the tangent at the inflection point the question is we need to know when we get and how to get an inflection point you all know inflection point it means second derivative is zero this is the first derivative minus 6x squared so it must be minus 6x squared plus 12 uh, plus 12. so here if you do the derivative second derivative it will be minus 12x is zero implies x is zero so if you replace in the equation f of zero and the equation up f of zero you get one so we have one and we need to find so the inflection point as i said now is one zero we get it by solving second derivative equal to zero to write the equation of tangent what we need more we need to find a prime of zero and a prime of zero this is the derivative if you replace a prime by zero here minus 6 times 0 plus 12 you get the 12 so the equation of tangent will be y minus 1 equal 12 into x minus 0. i hope that you can now understand well uh, the derivative and see you tomorrow in class thank you for listening